man. What is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. Today I got for you Naruto Shippuden, episode 58. This episode's called Loneliness. So let's get to it. I think Naruto's noticing the way those guys are looking at Sora, like they're out to get him. I mean, I'd be out to get Sora too if he talked to me like that. So if you remember the Guardians of the Twelve Shinobi, why does he get bossed around by this kid named Sora, bro? Why does it sound like? Why does it sound like that? It sounds like a song. <laughs> you know what's so interesting? It's like they'd be like world class martial art people, but like they still be losing wars and shit. You know, you can't outfight a bullet. Like these niggas probably in hand to hand combat are smoking us, right? But we still beat them in wars, nigga. We beat the Chinese, we beat the Japanese, bro. Like, come on, they can't stop America power. <laughs> He's making fun of his train. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up, man. But this guy really think he can fight Naruto. Like, nigga, you should do your research on this kid. Naruto is really like that. Like, there's not a lot of people that are really like that, but I can confidently tell you, Naruto's Uzumaki is really like that. No, <laughs> Naruto like that. Yo, this guy is really trying, and Naruto's like, yo, relax, bro. It's like your little brother, like, going a little too, too intense with the play fight. He's like, bro, chill out, bro. Like, before I really hurt you, nigga. What do you got? This guy got anger issues, bro. You know, it's just like, yo, chill. Like, I don't even know you like that to be this mad at me. Like, bro, go to therapy. Like, eyes of pity. No, it's just like, I kind of know how this guy feels. Let me try to help him. I feel like Naruto has like a deep connection with people that are outcasts. You know what I'm saying? Like first with Gara, now with this kid named Sora. So it's kind of like, yo, this guy kind of reminds me of myself because I was outcasted. You know, wouldn't it be interesting if Sora's the one stealing all the graves to like maybe try to be powerful or something? Or maybe he lost somebody and he's trying to find them. That's why he has the same eyes as Naruto because he's he's sad and he's trying to find the person that he lost, like his mom or dad. And that's why he's stealing all those graves. That would make a lot more sense. Like I'm think I, I think I'm right, guys. Don't don't spoil it, but I'm gonna go with this theory. This dude is the guy stealing all those graves. Cause remember Naruto saw him when they first met right by those graves. Right? Maybe that's why those dudes are looking at him like that. It's like, yo, mate, I, they kind of suspect him to be the, the guy, that, the suspect, right? Guys, that was it for this episode. Thank you for listening and watching. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Bless up. Peace.